the uh, what, what what do I make of it? Um, how did the game go? I thought we put in a couple of good defensive sets to start with. Um, we then suffered a really unlucky uh, ricochet, which ended in seven points. Um, we then missed a tackle, which is very unlike us. That resulted in 14 points. Um, we then lost John Cooney and Ian Henderson. Um, and we're then under the cosh. Okay, so there's a little bit of momentum for, for, for Munster. Um, we, we played some nice stuff. We, we played some nice rugby, some nice line breaks, but didn't have the ball as much. Um, and then as the game went, the momentum built. I thought we could have had a try before half time. We didn't get that. Uh, after half time, scored a try. Uh, lovely, really nice try. Really nice try off the off the kickoff. Uh, there were two two rucks that uh, should have both been penalties to us. Uh, they weren't. Ended in a try for them. So the little bit of edge that we needed to get back into the game uh, didn't happen. Um, and from that stage on, I think we uh, we looked as if we were suffering physically. Which might be a as, as coaches, we'll have to look at them. The staff, um, the lag after a very tough South African trip, um, um, you know that that uh, that may be something we have to look at. Did Ian Henderson and John Cooney go for a pitch uh, John, uh, I don't believe John went off for an HIA. Um, Ian did. Okay, so was John a section one then, or was it just no? I think his was blood actually. Okay. I'm actually not sure. I I, you didn't hear that, did you? I think it was blood. No, so, sorry, I, I actually don't know. I just knew he went off for blood initially, but uh, it might have been an HIA. I'm not sure. What's positive to take on? I think the attacking, some of the attacking play, we 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 demonstrated that uh, against a really good defence, that uh, when we uh, when we moved the ball at pace, uh, we were dangerous. Um, you know, there are, there are occasions in the second half where um, um, obviously they stymied our attack, but at that stage we were beginning to look a little bit tired. Um, but, uh, but I felt we were very threatening um, um, when we did that, uh, when, when we managed to move the ball. Uh, little tip-ons from our forwards are looking good. They've been excellent. Al gave an excellent one. Um, so, so there were certainly little bits and pieces about that. I thought uh, a couple of the individual performances were, were really outstanding. Adam McBurney played his first game. I thought he was outstanding. I thought Al played really well. Um, Nick Timoney had a good game. Um, so there, you know, in in amongst the uh, uh, the worst ever defeat for Ulster, there there will be things that'll uh, that'll shine out, um, but uh, they'll be difficult to find over the next 24 hours. Okay, because because uh, other stuff will be staring me in the face. Yeah, there's always been a couple of players missing over the last couple of weeks and undefeated so far until tonight. Um, yeah, well, we, look, there's, there's 16 injuries in, in, against the cheaters. We, uh, we we suffered massively, but you know, genuinely, I thought we would come down here and, and, and give a good account of ourselves, um, and we didn't. And you know, that's that's the bottom line. And if we if we do that, then then things have to you know we have to go away and take take stock and and accept take our medicine. Silence reigns. Anybody else? How um, how much, if any, uh, of, the, of the performance is down to travelling? I mean, do you think that there's a, an impact from coming back from South Africa? Well, that, that, yeah, it's an interesting one. We'll have to we'll have to talk about that um, um, as a um, as a staff. Um, I certainly think that the five day turnaround that we were subjected to in South Africa has an impact. Like we came off the back of that game. Um, with what was it? It was uh, five injuries off the back of that game, um, and at the end, at the end of the match, having I mean, had to go from sea level to altitude in South Africa with a with a ten hour travel on the the Monday post game from the Sunday, um, you know, uh, when we'd scored our second last try out there, there were four or five fellows lying on the ground requiring treatment. Um, so, you know the the. The heart and the fight that the fellows showed out there was terrific, but but it comes at a cost, you know. It comes at a cost, um, but I'm not going to put that down to uh, 60 points. You know, that's, uh, I'm not doing that.